I'll give it another go. Welcome back, everyone. We got lucky. Derek, my guardian angel, came in and was like, Hey, guy, yeah. do you want to go for a ride? And I was like, Oh, okay, sure. I made it. Huh? Yeah, don't go, don't go slow. So this week we went to the beautiful Baxter. Um, it's a little bit closer to Toronto uh, and it's mostly, it's actually quite small compared to the other tracks, but it has this like continuous line of really long single trails. Like some of the trails will take 10 to 15 minutes just to get from the start to a semblance of a finish point. The guy in the uh, Canadian trucks. So the guy ahead of me is Derek, and he's on his KTM 350. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, one of the dual sport versions, but it doesn't really matter because for a life experienced gentleman, he can certainly move pretty damn fast. The leaves here this week were absolutely amazing. Um, it's even more uh, colourful than the week before, where the leaves have mostly fallen now. The trees are starting to look a little bit bare, but what's left just gives like this striking colour between the ground of the oranges and then stuff up in the trees, the greens and the yellows that's still hanging around. Oh, what a what a time to be riding! Oh, it's beautiful. We also get that added bonus where we can um, actually see around the trails, see who's coming, so we can just have a little bit more fun, go around a bit quicker and still be safe because we can see everyone coming the other way. So this area was mostly just like this muddy, loomy sort of soil. There's a few sandy sections, but nothing particularly crazy. Like the sand didn't really get that deep apart from this is like one hill somewhere which is um, sandy up and down. Uh, but short of that, it's just like this really nice, soft mud. I'm not sure if it's rained recently, um, or it's just because the season's getting a bit more uh, wetter, so that's the, the mud is all packed down. It's, it's, it's just nice to ride on. It, it, you just have pure confidence, because it's not wet and slippery, and it's not dry and dusty. And the colour of the leaves as you're going through this area, oh my god, they're just so vivid and bright and it's just, just absolutely beautiful. Although in some places it is getting a little tricky to see where you're, you're going. We're just basically trying to look for any sort of subtle line or marking in the trail that it just goes, oh yeah, that's the way we need to go. Because as you can see, like we're, we're weaving back and forth, left and right, left and right through all the trees. And... Um, there's not really a huge indication of where to go other than just there's a slight disturbance in the leaves here and there and you're like oh going that way but having said all of that the trail does flow super super nice and it is just an absolute joy to ride oh my As you can see, it's just like left, right, left, right, left, right, go through the trees, left, right, left, right, constantly. And um, this year I've been really trying to work on just standing on my pegs, um, perhaps just overdoing it really. I could probably sit down through some of the corners, but I've been just really trying to like drill it in so that I feel more confident standing and just leading the bike beneath me and just feeling like I'm in a good standing position so that the bike's still gripping and I'm able to just try and keep like a smooth speed through the uh, areas whilst keeping up on the pegs um, and actually after doing this for about 10, 10 minutes I know this clip is only going to be a, a couple of minutes long after I've cut it just to take the, the fun parts or the, the nicest looking X sections of the trail for you guys but um, once you've been doing it for like 10-15 minutes in a row boy do your legs burn like my legs are on fucking fire probably should sit down more but they definitely are on fire <laughs> This double lock hop looks gnarly. I made it! It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's 
see, easy peasy. I mean, it looks like nothing, but when you've never done anything like that before, you're like, ooh, is that second lock gonna throw me to the side? What's gonna happen in this sort of situation? So everything's kind of spooky the first time, the very first time you did it. And actually, when I did it, it, it was nothing. Like, that log was probably easier to cross than half the bloody logs I was jumping at uh, Lorden. Especially the one that I, like, fell sideways and crushed my leg against. That's much higher than these. So, I'm, you know, it's just one of those... Is this too big? Is this gonna... What's this going to do to my bike? How is this thing's gonna... How are things gonna react? But, I mean, I guess that's why you go out and practice and experience all these situations, right? So next year I'm getting a new bike, I'm getting a two-stroke, which is a completely different characteristic to what I currently have. I'm looking at a two-stroke Beta 250. Um, I want to use this to start trying to push my uh, skills a little bit further and just to have a little bit more power so that I don't have to so heavily exaggerate the most simplest of things like to, to wheelie this bike I have to basically jump as hard as I can and dump the clutch uh, just to get the front wheel to come up and like I know I need to use the same techniques on the new bike but it just gives you a little bit more play and I think I'm, trying to get a bit far ahead I'm looking forward to just experiencing a much much lighter bike Another benefit of having a much lighter bike is that um, I can learn things easier. I can just not get so tired and exhausted by riding a 350 pound bike. The new bike will be about 230, I think. So I'm not entirely sure, but it's around about that. Um, so that's a significant weight difference. So then when you consider that it's got a large amount more power and a completely different torque band and all that stuff um it should just no give me a lot more ease in practicing and learning new techniques um or just refining the techniques i currently learn and just actually you know like getting good at them it's just easier to learn on something smaller and lighter well that's not physically smaller it's just lighter I just past some wreckage of some sort there's a boat there's a boat in here of course yeah, you see some weird things in these woods sometimes. I literally don't really recall where the nearest, nearest large water source is. I mean, there's like a little stream that goes through here, but that stream is like literally an inch deep. So why the hell is there a boat in here? And why is it up on the top? Like the stream is down, down the bottom of the like cliff. That's a good 10 meters down. A bit weird. Also, how did they get it in here? I mean, you'd have to be towing that with like a, an ATV at the very minimum, and that boat is pretty wide, so you're gonna be bashing it on all these trees to get through. Or you're like having to cut a path through here. There's no, there's no like fire trail nearby or anything. The widest road is like a dual road going through here, and that's. Well, I haven't seen it in ages. I've been like riding on the single track for quite some time. <laughs> So, pff, uh, yep. who knows? How long has it even been there? Looks like it's rotting right. and falling apart. Maybe it's there a long time ago and the trees have grown. Oh yeah, so uh, I was talking about getting a new bikes because um, I also right. actually want to eventually get into doing, trying out to doing some racing. I uh, would love to, love to just give it a bit of a go. Um, so yeah, hopefully once I spend a good portion of next year oh, okay. just okay. learning how to ride a two-stroke compared to how a four-stroke handles um, and just getting some of the techniques that I want to learn down such as like just ways to get over large obstacles that right now sure. scare the shit out of me and just you know drill those in become good at those just keep well, practicing finally, and then when I feel a little bit more confident I, I can so enter in like... some like beginner classes or you know like yeah. novice C classes and just see how things go just take it, take it easy I'm a fast and furious but I think it'd be good fun. Probably should work on my fitness as well. And evidently, my uh, skills, seeing as I fell on this small, small incline. <laughs> Why did I fall? Who knows? Kind of embarrassing. I am not worried about that. And well, hopefully, I'll make it out another time this year. But. With winter fast coming, who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I won't. Yes. Hopefully, I can get a tow. Get some yes. more riding done. Thanks for the ride, Derek. What? What a lovely day. <laughs>